Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. And today I am remaking one of my old videos because I've kind of perfected and learned some new things uh, about the essential phones. And just wanted to share it, do an update video, and explain how I set up every single essential phone that I sell on Swappa. Uh, I'll probably be including this video link in every Swappa post I make from here on out when it comes to these phones. But I wanted to go over setting one up. So first of all, obviously you need to have the drivers installed if you're on a Windows PC. So as you can see, I do have the drivers. They're all set. If you want to make sure that the phone is connected, go to Device Manager and click Portable Devices. As long as it's not under other devices and something like this, you're fine. But as you can see, this phone is not connected for some reason. <laughs> There we go. So it'll show up. So as you can see, it is connected. I just forgot to put it in the right mode. So from there, you want to also make sure that you have USB debugging enabled and OEM unlocking enabled. So to get OEM unlocking enabled, I want to be able to make sure you guys can see this. You want to go to your settings, go all the way down to system, and then under about phone, go all the way down. Yeah, this sucks. I can't get the screen dim enough and my camera freaking sucks and just tap build number until you're a developer from there open up right here uh, the little like advanced stuff and go developer options enable uh, OEM unlocking which this one's already unlocked and then you want to do USB debugging as well I think you guys can see that that's literally as dim as the screen I think goes so I think you're just gonna have to trust me oh no it's not it had auto I think it's automatically on because I had it dimmer than that. Can you see that better? Yeah. So uh, USB debugging on and OEM unlock turn on. Now from there, open up your command prompt. Oh, make sure you have your ADB and stuff like that installed because you're going to need that. Oh, I didn't mean to close that. Central setup, and now we're good to go. So from there, open your command prompt, and you can do ADB reboot bootloader. It'll turn off the device, boot it into fast boot, which makes your life a little bit easier. And then from there, you'll see all the information on the screen about the device. As you can see, mine is already unlocked, but I will tell you guys real quick the best way to unlock this firm or this bootloader is fastboot flashing unlock critical. That's the first one you wanna run. Let it go through and do its uh, erase. And then you wanna also do fastboot flashing unlock. So that unlocks the entire bootloader 100%. You're good to go. Uh, nothing you need to worry about from there. So, actually let me pause this real quick. So the next step, once you're unlocked and your device state states you're unlocked, you're gonna want to go in and download a specific security patch. So you're gonna wanna download a security patch for, I believe it's January, 2021. This is Android 10 for the devices. Now, the only thing that I have custom on this is, and I'll show you how to do it, cause it's actually, oh, it should be there. Okay, the only thing I have custom on this is not on this drive. I did it on the wrong phone earlier. So you want to copy the TWRP file and put it in the device security. This is just how I do it to make things a little bit faster. And then you do TWRP.IMG, open your flash all no wipe. And as you'll notice, oh, I just accidentally deleted it at some point. As you'll see, I added these two lines, fast boot flash raw boot A, TWRP flash raw boot underscore B, TWRP. That installs TWRP to both recovery partitions. Or, yeah, that installs the custom recovery for both boot partitions. So from there, you want to just run flash all no white, hit enter, and it's going to go through flash the custom recovery of TWRP and the December update. And it honestly doesn't take that long, so I'm not even really going to pause this and do anything because I'd rather show you guys how quickly this can be done 
And I am planning on making a custom tool for this as well. So as you can see, it's done now. It's that quick. And you can go uh, recovery mode with the buttons and just hit the power button to select recovery mode. It will boot into TWRP from here. And you'll notice that TWRP actually doesn't work very well on these devices. It doesn't work very well in the sense that touch does not work. There is a way to properly install it and get touch to work, but realistically you don't need it if you're on the computer anyway. So as you can see, touch doesn't work. No big deal. Honestly, it's no big deal because you can actually just go in your command prompt since you're connected anyway, adb shell tbrp sideload. This loads the sideload screen on TWRP, which makes it very simple to go over to CR Droid, and that's going to be the Android uh, custom ROM that we install. So you do adb sideload CR Droid 10 and hit enter, and it's going to now send the uh, custom ROM to the device. Now, this does take kind of a minute or two, so I am going to pause it. But uh, I'll come back when this is done, and I'll let you know how long it took. So honestly, that didn't take that long. It's already done. Uh, I probably should have just left it running and just talked over it. But the nice thing about this, now that it's done, is you can do ADB Reboot Recovery. And the reason you want to do that is this loads into a different recovery. So when you flash CR Android 10, you get the Lineage OS recovery, the custom recovery for this phone, which is way better than TWRP for these devices. And I just prefer using it, honestly. It's so much better. So as you can see, it's set up in a very similar way to uh, like normal Android recovery. And you just use the volume buttons to do stuff. What we want to do is apply update, which is the one I have selected, and you want to do it from ADB. So now we're going to flash gaps. And as you can see, I am in ADB sideload. So ADB sideload gaps. And you can use whatever gaps file you want for Android 10. Just hit enter, it's going to flash it. it. Doesn't take long at all, honestly. It's very easy. And there it goes, it's flashing it through. And then you don't want to root the device quite yet. It can actually cause an issue with the system and cause boot loop if you root it right now. So you want to boot it up at least once and then reboot back to recovery and flash Magisk, which is going to be your best bet for rooting this device. So I'm going to have that up and ready to go. It's almost done doing gaps. As you can see, it's done. So now you just use the arrows and then you want to reboot system now and that's going to load normal Android, which doesn't take long. You will always get the screen once you are rooted and unlocked as well. There's just nothing you can really do about it. You can also get another screen that says the entire device is corrupt. I have gotten around that by just completely doing this exact same setup of flashing the initial uh, initial security patch and it worked fine it still gave the error that the device was corrupt but it works so I don't really know what the problem was but as you can see it's all set and minimal gaps it was just Play Store but now we can go reboot and this ROM has the custom reboot options let me get this open so I can see. So if you go to reboot on the side there, you'll see that you actually get all the custom options. You can go recovery, bootloader, system UE. I'm doing recovery obviously because we are booting into recovery anyway. I have one more phone of this to do as well. Mm -hmm. But if you want one of these phones, let me know. I post them all on Swappa. I'm working on automating this process. So if you want something similar may be done for your phone, let me know what kind of phone you have. And I'll look up and see if it's possible to automate the exact same way. So we're gonna go apply update again from ADB. Now it is a little different for Magisk. So if you do ADB sideload Magisk, 
you'll see that it's going to give a pop-up on the screen and it's going to ask you if you want to flash this unsigned zip you simply just go yes and then it flashes and from here the device is done it's rooted it's rommed it's ready to go for whoever wants it um actually my dad's buying this one i believe either my dad or my girlfriend i don't know which because both of them want one of these phones because it's better than what they have so and if you get this error don't worry about it uh it's i don't know i get it sometimes with this recovery but i've never had anything actually be a failure so reboot system now it'll reboot it and you can go in and now you have a rooted device you can do whatever you want with it. My favorite thing to do with rooted devices is install Greenify and Viper for Android. Greenify for battery life, Viper for Android for sound quality. But uh, other than that, this device is good, ready to go, and either my dad or my girlfriend are going to end up using this phone. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys learned a thing or two. Like I said, if you want to learn how to do this with your own device, I do have access to thousands upon thousands of devices so more and more tutorials like this will be coming i just do need to get a better way to record with the webcam but i'll figure that out in the future maybe a better webcam because this thing sucks but i'll talk to you guys later hope you guys enjoyed peace out